And I'm really excited to be back here in Korea competing for the fourth time. Hello. Right, so we're going to jump straight into this video. We are here in Seoul, uh, Korea. I have landed literally an hour ago after a good 30 hours of traveling altogether. Um, I went round the ad hoc way, so the wrong way around the world to get here this, uh, this year. So from Vegas to Korea, you can get a 13 hour direct flight. Numpty over here decides to take Amy home to England first. So we flew from Vegas to England, which was 10 and a half hours. I had a six hour layover there. Then I flew to Amsterdam, which was two hours. Um, and then I had a two hour layover there, and then we flew 11 hours to Seoul just now. So yeah, I've had over 30 hours of traveling. I absolutely stink. So I apologize to anyone on that flight who was sat near me because it weren't great. Um, but we're here now, I'm going to have a quick shower, I'm going to get training because obviously 30 hours on long haul flight means I'm going to be carrying a lot of water retention. Uh, the Korea Grand Prix, which is the Asia Grand Prix, is on in four days, so luckily I've got four days here to get the water off, um, deplete back down and carve back up, so hopefully everything will be okay come show day. Um, I've already been to the supermarket, I've got a lot of stuff uh, which I can run through and show you. We've got water, a lot of water. Obviously, we're going to be water loading, getting rid of uh, all the water retention within my body, i.e., drinking lots. We've got asparagus, which is a natural diuretic that's going to help with the flushing of water. Antioxidants, blueberries for my first meal. Skippy's peanut butter. Um, yeah, probably shouldn't have bought that. I was meant to get almond butter natural, um, but in Korea, they don't do anything like that. So bought that instead. I know it's full of sugar, I know it's peanut butter, but we'll see. It's there just in case and if not I'll have it post show. We've got bananas for carving up as well as high in potassium which is great for carving up also. We've got oatmeal for my first meals, we've got extra rice for carving up, uh, eggs for one of my meals and then I'll show you what I've got in the fridge. I'm sorry. And then I've got a lot of pre-made meals. Ooh wrecking the joint. Uh, so in there we've got steak uh, meals with rice and chicken meals with rice. So we're pretty, uh, we're pretty set for the next four days. I've got to be prepared. Obviously when you're traveling abroad all these are all the things you need to try and source and sort out before you come um, and do these shows and whatnot. So I did do all this before I came out. A lot of preparation before I came out. But anyway I'm going to stop blabbering on. Can you see me? I'm gonna quickly have a shower and I'm gonna get training. Right, so we're trying to find the fitness center. Found it. Now how scary is that? Very, very eerie place, I must admit. I'm gonna get my workout on quite quickly and get out of here. <laughs> but, joking aside, for a gym, uh, for a hotel gym, it's pretty impressive. It's got everything a normal conventional gym's got. So uh, let's get to work.
Okay, before I go, you can't come to Korea and not try one of these. I've been here for four years now. Every gym I've ever trained at over here, you've got that on my sweaty back on it, which is um, com inversion table, that's it. Tips upside down, nearly passes out, but it's meant to stretch your spine off. Quite good actually, I've just done it uh, on my own with no one around, and that's a pretty sticky situation if you got stuck there. But uh, I managed to get out of it okay. Now we've got to try this bad boy. Are we ready? This is supposed to shake the fat off. Uh, oh, that's quite nice actually. Uh, actually makes you need a piss to be honest. <laughs> so I'm going to end it here because the battery's about to die. And I want to make sure I just sign off by saying that was my quick back workout. Um, no major heavy weight, it's just literally a flushing uh, circuit session. Um, now I'm going to do a little bit on the cardio, probably half an hour treadmill or bike. Just nice and steady, nothing too strenuous because at the end of the day it's water I'm trying to get off. I'm not really trying to burn any more fat because uh, I was quite low. Uh, last week for the Olympia, so I don't really need any more fat to come off. It's just this water retention to uh, to flush out the body. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Hello, guys. Right, so we're now having to move on to my phone for filming. Uh, so apologies for that. Uh, the reason is after filming my workout last night, Numpty Bollocks here has forgot the charger to my camera. So. Uh, that just shows how good I am at vlogging and how technical I am. Um, so I managed to film the workout, but I haven't got anything else, uh, any other batteries to film the rest of the uh, the trip. So I'm going to do what I can on here. Uh, so it's going to be more of a this type of uh, video. And then I'm going to try and get some footage from uh, the promoters of the actual show day. So uh, fingers crossed that will be in the video later on. But uh, quick update on where we're at. We're the day before the show, I'm now carving up, I'm uh, just resting at the hotel, drinking lots of water, eating lots of food, um, and I've had, yeah, quite an experience this morning. So I'm out here in Korea uh, competing for the first time on my own. So I've done probably 15 shows in my, uh, my career, amateur and pro, and I've never been solely on my own. I've always had my coach or... Uh, Amy with me, my wife. Um, so tanning has never been an issue because obviously I, I get tanned by ProTan if they're here, uh, and if not, Amy or my coach does it for me in the room um, with a mitt and spray uh, bottle. I'm on my own, so I'm having to do that on my own. So I've uh, I've I've done it <laughs> very poorly, but I've done it. I've managed to get a base coat on. Um, and yeah, it was quite difficult. Obviously trying to tan my back uh, wasn't the best. Uh, so I'm imagining it doesn't look too great back there, but I've got a base coat on, that's the important thing. Um, I'll probably rinse it off later, give it about eight hours to, to progress and to come out. And then I'll probably rinse it off and then have uh, tanning by the guys backstage. Um, so yeah, note to self, never come out competing on your own, it's, uh, it's quite difficult. <laughs> but um, all in all, I'm feeling okay. Um, nervous about tomorrow. Um, there's some great athletes. I think there's about 10 to 12 in the lineup. Um, I've competed against a few of them before, and they're not to be messed around with. Um, some really good genetics, and I've seen some of the progress pictures, and they're looking fantastic. But looking forward to getting up there. I love competing. I've obviously not been on stage uh, all year. Competed last weekend, got that buzz back. Absolutely loved it. Didn't place where I wanted to place, obviously fifth. Um, still not a bad place and after the year I've had with the, the hip surgeries, the wedding, the house build, everything. But I did go there for first place and I felt like me and Neil took our best package to date. A uh, bit fuller, a bit bigger, um, but it still wasn't good enough. And it just shows the standard of men's physique now. Um, four guys who beat me, well deserved, fantastic shape, fantastic condition. Uh, I've got no qualms in that, I just need to come back bigger, stronger and better for, for 2020 um, and I'm, I'm fired up for it. It made me realise obviously this year I focused a lot on my social life and, and me and Amy but next year it's back to work, back to the grind. I'm going to have my first ever off season with Neil which I think is going to be very productive um, and we're going to come back and see a new improved Ryan and hopefully fight for that first place next year. 
Right, I'll check in with you a bit later on. See you later. So guys, everyone thinks bodybuilding and uh, the sports industry and what we do is glamorous, but this is the side you don't see. Um, this is the aftermath of me trying to tan myself in a beautiful hotel, which I seem to uh, have ruined. If we move on into the bedroom, obviously that's a lovely big double bed, uh, but unfortunately, I can't stop in that. Obviously, white sheets with this tan is not gonna go well, so, this is what I bring with me everywhere around the world, wherever I compete. I've got my own bed sheet, I've got pillowcases, and if I can't fit it on the bed, which I can on this one, it's nice, I just cocoon myself in it and sleep in it uh, for two nights. So it's, uh, it's not very glamorous. Apologise Virgin Atlantic, but this is one of your uh, blankets from the, uh, the flight over. Um, works perfect. Nice colour for uh, for the tan, so you can't see it. But uh, yeah, again, nothing glamorous. So we are on the move now. Uh, as you can see, I've got a bit of tan on, and I'm heading down to the check-in uh, meeting, athletes check-in meeting. So um, I'm going to see the other competitors for the first time. Um, that's always the nerve-wracking part where everyone's sizing each other up. But um, looking forward to getting on with the day tomorrow. So we're just here at Athletes Checking now. As you can see, there's a lot of competitors. Uh, it's a bit hectic. Um, there's some big, big guys here. Um, so yeah, looking forward to tomorrow, but I'm pretty nervous now, I must admit. All good. Good morning, guys. Right, I'm a bit shaky um, with the camera because I'm walking to the venue, uh, ready for pre-judging. Uh, so we'll be on the stage in about an hour. Um, as you can see, I'm fully tanned up now, uh, ready to roll. Um, done everything I can, just had a few meals this morning. I've not eaten too much, uh, to be honest with you, because I didn't want to blow my stomach. Um, normally we go on about 10 o'clock, so normally I have like one big meal and that's it, but we're on a bit later today, uh, 12, half 12, one o'clock maybe. So I've just grazed on a few meals, uh, a bit of rice, a bit of chicken, nothing there. Uh, too appetizing and um, I'll save that all uh, later after finals but I'm feeling okay I'm feeling um, excited nervous uh, I'm a very nervous competitor I always have been always will be um, but it's always served me well in the past and fingers crossed we'll get the result today that we're uh, we're hoping for and we can finish this season strong um, and then go on my honeymoon tomorrow which yeah tomorrow uh, so we're gonna head back to the UK straight after the finals tonight and then Amy's going to meet me at the airport and we're going to go on our long-awaited honeymoon. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Right guys, so just to give you a little insight, we're backstage now and uh, all my days is absolutely crazy. I, uh, I've got to try and find a little spot so I can just sit and relax, but even now I'm struggling. I'm at the little fire exit part, but I'm going to turn the camera around and show you just what I mean. Now this is absolute carnage. Crazy madness. Just shows how much um, bodybuilding as a whole is growing over here in Korea. Four years ago we didn't have this attendance. So yeah, absolutely awesome. So it's the calm before the storm. The stage looks great. I think we'll be on there in about half an hour now. ISBB Pro in the men's team division. Um, I'm two times Asian Grand Prix champion and I'm really excited to be back here in Korea competing for the fourth time. Um, I'm really nervous, excited to be on stage, but um, I'm looking forward to showing you guys what I've been working on this year. Competitor 17, Ryan Terry from the United Kingdom. <laughs> Now, it was 
actually really, really difficult over there. Um, I don't know what came over me, but I got really nervous backstage, like more than I've ever been. Uh, and I think even more so than the Olympia last last week. And I think because obviously coming fifth last week, people expect a certain standard of you the following week. So I did start to feel the pressures. I don't know what it was, but um, but I calmed my nerves, um, did what I needed to, pumped up well. Um, and yeah, we were in the first call outs. It's against me and two Iranian guys who, by the way, were absolutely phenomenal. And they proper made his work, more so than the Olympia. Uh, we were back and forth constantly, um, firing from the back, firing from the front. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a nice bit of competition, just showing how the standard is just getting unreal now from all over the world. Um, so yeah, we're back in finals later today, 7pm, uh, so we've got about five hours. Um, so I'm just heading back to the hotel, having a steady walk. Sorry about the loud noise, I'm going past some... <laughs> Uh, past a building site or something but um, yeah all in all okay and we'll check back in just before finals well guys um where do i start with this firstly we won <laughs> secondly uh, apologies that we literally bypassed from pre-judging as i said i was going to check in before finals um on how i was feeling what i'd done on in the day uh, before we went on stage but I had an absolute nightmare and a bit of a disastrous day, so I don't even know where to start. So when I came off pre-judging backstage, uh, I asked one of the guys, microphone, working backstage, just to double check what time finals were, and they told me 7 o'clock start. So I was aiming for 7 o'clock, so I've been resting in my room, sleeping, just chilling, bored out my head because it's five, six hours waiting. And um, I'm there six o'clock, just starting to get ready to, to walk to the venue, which is about a mile away. I steady walk across and get all prepared. And I start getting messages and pictures saying, where are you? Um, Men's Physique is on stage now. Where are you? And I'm like, you must be joking. And then there's pictures coming through of the stage, all the guys um, comparing, fighting on stage. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm sat in my room. A mile away so uh, I literally grabbed my board shorts I, this is honestly unbelievable ran out the door sprinted a mile I've never ran so fast in all my life and I'm struggling with it now with guitar on my chest on my lungs but uh, got to the venue they're all still on stage I ran backstage put my shorts on didn't pump up didn't get time to put any glaze on nothing ran up onto stage just jumped in the middle of them and um, started obviously fighting for my place again. Um, so it uh, it was over. It was over in minutes. Um, luckily, I didn't get disqualified, and they were still on stage. And I managed to um, to battle out and, and still win first place. But I was uh, very fortunate that it, it ran on that long for me to get there in time. Um, that was a schoolboy error from me. I should have double checked, triple checked um, after prejudging. But I just, yeah, asked the guy and then came back and put a plan together, which was the wrong plan. Um, I'm not looking forward to seeing the stage pictures, I must admit, because I take pride in, obviously, what goes out on social media and stuff. And I always want to look my best, um, especially on stage, uh, especially winning first place. You want to you want to be at your best, don't you? But um, I'm going to stop blabbering on. But, yeah, it, it's not going to be the best with no glaze and no pump compared to guys who have been pumping up, prepping properly. So... Uh, I was blowing, I remember just trying to tense my arms whilst uh, trying to get my breath. So, um, yeah, all in all, it's not how I wanted to win. Um, didn't really enjoy the moment, but still, I'm back here now and I'm taking it all in. And uh, what an achievement. I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm three times Asia Grand Prix champion. Um, just want to say thank you to everybody who supported me. They were going crazy at, uh, out on out in the venue, um, out in the audience. So uh, I've got a nice following out here and I do really appreciate all of you guys. Uh, thank you to the IFBB, um, to the Asian Grand Prix, to Alex the promoter for putting on absolute class show. Um, apologies again to everybody um, if I held anyone up or um, I always try to be as professional as I can and that was quite unprofessional on my part. So apologies on that. Uh, now I'm gonna have a shower, get all this off, get packed, because it is, yeah, pretty messy, this room. Get packed up because we are off early, early in the morning, six o'clock in the morning.
because I'm going on my honeymoon and I cannot wait. So Korean barbecue tonight and then off to the airport tomorrow. Thanks guys.